Hello, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Wednesday, October 14, 2020, and this is a live chat from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, so if you're watching this at any other time other than those people that are already in the chat room, know that you're watching an upload of a live recording, and if you're communicating with us, you need to talk to us in the comments section that the chat box is closed. But we're going to wait for people to get into the room. I'm about a minute and a half early today. Let me pull this up on my phone. Okay. So we're just going to wait. Ugh. <laughs> I've had, you know, one of those weird days, but I'm just hanging in there. Everything's good. I'm just, uh, from the side effects of not sleeping for two days straight, not able to get any sleep. But I finally did get some sleep last night, but I just want to sleep now forever, so. And trying not to do that. <laughs> so, just waiting for people to come in and... It looks like it's 7 o'clock now, but I'll give them just a few more seconds. We've got 33 people here, according to my uh, recording device. So I don't know if it's caught up or not. So. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and start reading the chat comments and maybe by the time I get through there we'll have more people in before we get started. Because it's nothing like starting and then people asking me questions I've already answered. <laughs> so we've got uh, Beverly Simmons was here at 5.53. I'm sure she's not here now but she says, girl, I am bed snowing away. Doing it, have to watch it tomorrow night. Vivian Calvi was here at 6.32 saying hi T and everyone. 643 is Pamela Tabor saying hello T and everyone. And then Pamela says, wonder who is the winner. T, can you have another drawing tonight? <laughs> uh, Pamela says, T, were you and Kevin on the road again? Uh, yes, we had, I think we mentioned that we might do the Illa part of the Central Illinois uh, shop hop. We did some shops. I have uh, some haul stuff I'll do from that in a bit. Um, Patricia Colusio says, hi everyone, it's North Carolina here. Hi Patricia, welcome. And she says, how is everyone? Dorsey Savelli is here, says, hi T and everyone from Minnesota. It's super windy here, remember the thumbs up. Thank you Dorsey for reminding people to thumbs up the video. Uh, Vivian says, I'm doing good in Georgia. Pam says, She's talking to Patricia, so I'll skip that. Darcy says, did anyone watch T's video numbers three and four? I seen them yesterday. They were great. Thank you, Darcy. Um, and Vivian saying she did. June says, hi, T and everyone. Yes, Darcy, I did watch them, and they were good. Kevin the Quilter is here. Hi, Kevin. He says, quilters from around the globe are chomping at the bit to chat with our madame <laughs> queen of scraps, the lovely sweet tea. I saw Kevin today. I actually, when I saw him, when we were together Tuesday for the shop hop, I had brought most of the electronics and I packed up everything, including his charger. So we had to meet back on the road today so I can give him his charger back. But I did get to see my buddy again two days in a row. Janet McElroy says, good evening to T and all quilters. Uh, Dorsey says, I'm glad it wasn't more windy or her blocks may have blown away. You got that right. I cut the video because I had to go uh, get blocks and chase them. So, yeah, that was pretty funny. But I didn't even put a, over, um, a comment over it letting people know what really happened. But I had to cut that video so I can get my blocks. And then I decided, instead of trying to show you all how to piece it on the deck, which was my plan, I was going to do some pinning to show you all how to do it. 
I said, I better pick up these blocks and get in the house. So, had to do plan B. But that was pretty funny. Melinda C is here. She says, hello, T and quilting friends from Florida, the Sunshine State. You got my thumbs up. Thank you, Melinda. And Pamela says, Kevin, how it's swinging? Left or right or both? Laughing out loud. Gramps says, good evening, T and everyone. Happy anniversary, T. Thank you so much, Gramps. Appreciate it. Cheryl Clute says, hello, T and quilters. June says, yep, it's today, like today, it's about 40 miles today. Very windy. Elaine Doucette says, good evening. Ellie Scrapper says, ready because there are 28 in before the chat already. I think she's saying before the chat already. Happy anniversary from Dorsey. Thank you. Kim Burris is here saying hello, everyone. Terry T is here saying hello, everyone. Darlene Farmer says, greetings from Northern Virginia. Patricia is talking to Pam. Judy Judy is here saying hello, T and quilters. William McCarthy is here saying hello, T and happy anniversary. Thank you, William. Appreciate it. And Michael Piccarelli. Hi, Mike. Got to see you today, too. Uh, Abby is upset you did not take her home today. Bad, bad auntie. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Quilting for the soul says hello, T and everyone. Oh my gosh, Jackie K says, happy anniversary, T, and hello to all quilters from Bradford, Ontario. Welcome from Canada. Um, Vivian Calvi goes, she is in. Ellie Scrapper says, greetings, T, and everyone. I thought that I was put the first time. I thought I was put in, I don't know, the first time. I don't know what that means. June Billing says, hi, T, and everyone. Hope all is well. Remo says, good evening, T and Quilters from Bowie, Maryland. Thumbs up, everyone. Thank you for the reminder and welcome. My brother is here. He says, hi, sis and everyone. Hope everyone stays safe. By the way, I'm looking forward to winning that quilt. It will look good on my bed. I just bet. <laughs> Little disclaimer, family is excluded. <laughs> Can't be a rigged event. <laughs> that is too funny. Cynthia Shade is here. She says, good evening to all from Chicago. Hope all is doing well and just enjoying life. And William is saying that he's from Barstow, California. Sue says, hello all and fellow quilt fabulous quilters. It's beautiful evening in St. Louis. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, let's see. Teresa McCormick says, good evening to and everyone. I'm glad I made it. Remo JS says, happy birthday. Thank you, Remo. Doris O is here. Says, good evening, everyone. Have a great evening. T and Kevin, I can see you all had a wonderful time. Yes, we did. Uh, Cheryl Bean says, hi, T and everyone. Marty Barnum is here. Says, good evening, everyone. Yay, did you get some sleep? Yes, I did. I finally got some sleep. <laughs> uh, it took two days of no sleep, just laying in the bed, thinking about sleep. <laughs> but I finally got about eight hours of sleep but I could have slept the entire day but I had some work I had to do today plus I had to meet Kevin and give him his uh, charger he was willing to come all the way back to my house but I felt bad because I took it so but uh, I could have slept the entire day away I did come back home finished up some other work and then I did take about an hour nap maybe knowing that I had live today so I got up about an hour hour and a half or four I had to come on here um, but yeah, but that's why I'm kind of, if I feel like I'm kind of not as excited, that's because I really just want to go to sleep in my head now, but I think I'm going to stay up until regular bedtime today. So I, uh, don't just keep sleeping. And I think what ha what did, it was probably going on the highway, driving in a car. Once I get back home from trips and stuff like that, I tend to sleep very well. So I'm glad that uh, Kevin and I did do that. Um, Dee Dee Hansen is here. She says, Dee Dee is here from Michigan. Francesca Fino says, hello, T and everyone. Angela Stringer says, hi, T and T Quilters. Better drink, butter drenched cabin is, is in the oven. Thank God for my food. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> for one time, I was having food issues. The next time, Kevin was having food issues yesterday. Yes, indeed. Food is important. Uh, Mario Dennis says, hello. I missed the winter circle. 
did I miss the winter circle? Hello from friendly Montreal. I have a sore neck, so won't be staying very long. No, you haven't missed it. It's going to be, I got some haul stuff I need to do first, and then we'll go into that. Janice Miller says, yes, I watched them. Janet Mackerel is saying hello to other people. And I do need somebody to tell me how many subscribers do I have. If somebody can put that in the chat as well, I appreciate it. Um, Carrie Davis says hello, everyone from Woodbridge, Virginia. Uh, Lacanti Middleton is here saying hello. Eileen Crane says hi from Dallas. And Mario says happy anniversary is also my life partner's birthday today. Well, happy birthday to him. That is awesome. Uh, and today is actually the day that I started my YouTube uh, channel. So that's weird that it actually fell on my Wednesday chat. That's another reason that I'm here celebrating it with you all. So thank you all so much for coming in here. Uh, Leah Bryan is saying hi, TNT Quilters. Um, I don't know what 64 is. Did I ask for something about 64? Pamela Tabor just told me what my um, subscriber crown is, 12,700 and something. So thank you, Pamela. And I see other people are putting it up here as well. So thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, Carol Green says, hi, T, and everyone. Congratulations, T. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. So thank you guys for helping me with the subscriber number. Because I keep, I, sometimes I look at that stuff and sometimes I don't. My, uh, I get off the live chats and my husband goes, how many people were there? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm too busy talking. But I do see we have 66 on my screen. So thank you so much. 64 chatters. Okay, I was asking about subscribers, not chatters. Okay, thank you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and do the Bernina haul. Uh, one of the things that I got when I got the sewing machine was I got this uh, Bernina accessories book. And so I have some things uh, that I want to do on this Bernina. I'm not sure how or when I'm going to do them, but I know in my head what it is that I want to do with it. And so I know that I was going to be needing particular feet. And I know I've done some of the things on other machines, but Bernina feet are a little bit, um, they really think about how they make their feet to do things. And so I actually wanted the particular feet that I wanted to do these things with. So I went through and I made a list. And of course... You know, I made my list in Excel, right? You know, I always make my list in Excel. That way I can update things as I go. Okay? So, this is where I got the idea for things that I wanted. I did not plan to buy the majority of the things that I wanted. I still got things on, like, my future wish list, but they had a foot sale the month of September and I got this machine toward the end of September so I didn't have many days at first I was just gonna buy two or three feet and then I realized I should just go ahead and purchase everything and let me look at this receipt again because there are like a couple of things that didn't come in like I asked for foot number 18 which is a new uh, button so on foot the button that you actually I mean the foot that you actually put an actual button underneath so that it, it doesn't sew forward it just sews in place I use that a lot, even in uh, when I'm doing totes. And sometimes I'll put buttons on totes. I don't sew buttons by hand anymore. I always use my machine. So that foot was not standard, so I needed that. Uh, foot 52D, which is the numb slip foot. I sometimes will use vinyl. And I know that there are ways I've done before where I've used tissue paper or freezer paper or just regular typing paper. And I've been able to sew. But it's nice sometimes when you need an exact seam to have that foot if you need it. So I ordered that one. And then also what has not come in is the Bernina accessory case. Which they gave to you for free if you spent at least $300 on feet. Which is why I went ahead and purchased all of my things at one time. Okay. Um, I got three things that were not feet. But I'm going to go over the feet first. Uh, number seven foot. It's the Taylor Tacking Foot. And uh, you all are going to have to probably go online. I'm only going to open up one foot. I'm just going to tell you what I got because people are asking me what did I buy for my Bernina. 
but the Taylor tacking foot is foot number seven and it has a bar in the middle and I'm sure you're not gonna be able to see it but it has a bar that's up high and what happens is you zigzag stitch over it and what I want to use this foot for is fringe so if I'm zigzagging along uh, on a straight line and then when I when it comes off of the foot it's just this loose piece of fabric and most people they do it on two pieces of fabric and then for tail attacking and they pull it and then the seams lay flat what I want to do with it is just do rows of that and then you're going to cut it in the middle and then you end up having fringe like making grass or something like that so that's foot number seven also they also have instruction sheet for so many different countries instructions that is ridiculous and I'm just gonna cut off the photo with the US instructions off and then I'm gonna pitch the rest of the sheet and then I'll be storing these in a book of some kind so I'll have the information that goes with the original foot so that's number seven number 16 is the gathering foot which I like the gathering foot because you can gather a piece of fabric by itself or you can gather a top piece of fabric and have it sew onto another piece of fabric that's laying underneath. So that's why I wanted this foot. Foot number 22, which is the braiding foot. And it's got three grooves. And you it says braiding foot, but what it is is you can put cords up under it and then you can, it zigzags or whatever, even if you use a pattern stitch, it'll do that as well and attack those cords down. Number 30 is the pentuck foot, which is also three grooves. And pentucks is just that. It's where you fold the fabric and you stitch along the edge. And then the grooves underneath, you use, once you do one, you use the groove underneath. And then it will make your other pentuck so that they're spaced evenly apart. So once you do your first pentuck, you put the next one into the slot and then the slot to the left or right or however you're making your pin tucks and then it will make all of your pin tucks if you're stitching rows of them evenly spaced number 61 last foot here is the hammer foot and i got it because this is the one that i told you you can uh, do like road edge hem but i'm also going to try to see if i can use this to bind something and I'm just testing this out I'm not really sure like if I'm doing quilt binding on a quilt so I'm not even sure if this foot will work for what I want it for but I do have it so in the month of September all of the feet were 25% off so I just decided uh, to go ahead and get them because what Bernina normally does is they have feet that are um, you get one they have one special foot in the month that they'll put on special for the 25% off. So I just decided to go ahead and get all the feet while they were on sale. Then I don't have to worry about trying to catch their monthly sales to get a foot or going, spending gas to go get a foot just because it's the monthly foot that's on sale. So I got everything that I wanted ordered. Then the other three things that I got that wasn't a foot is the patchwork seam guide. I might need this someday. It was supposed to come with my 97D foot, but I didn't get it from the lady. And so I just decided, instead of harassing her forward, I just went and bought my own. It was like, it's $15.58. So I just decided to go ahead and buy it. And this is the bobbin case for bobbin work. Uh, so I got this so that I could put uh, thicker threads in. Now this was expensive. This is ridiculous. Um, this was $97, but um, I sometimes do couching work. I also do couching work on when I'm doing machine embroidery, so I also wanted to just make sure that I had a bobbin that I could, I wouldn't have to mess up the tensions on my regular sewing bobbin, which I'm going to use 99% of the time, so I just decided to go ahead and purchase this. I could have waited for it to go on sale, but if I get everything I need now, I don't have to worry about going back. Last thing I got from Bernina, and then I'll read some comments just to break this up a little bit. It's the multi-spool holder. 
so you can put multiple thread uh, threads on. I have one for my Alissimo back there. Paper is blocking it, but um, you can see the threads back there. I just like this when I'm doing machine embroidery because some of my machine embroidery is so advanced having, you know, 15 different threads, 30 color changes. And so I just like to be able to put more than one spool on the machine at a time and have them in order ready to go. So I'm, I'm not going to probably open this because it's complicated, but I do just want to show you that everything is in here. I think I can hold, let's see, two, four, six, five, two, four, six, seven. I don't know why I'm going backwards. So it will hold 15 spools when I'm done of various different sizes. And then they also gave me two cones for the larger spools that you can put in this way for a smaller one. And if it's really big, you can put it in this way, and these will kind of open up, stretch as the, it goes under the cone here. So I was glad they included that one, because I don't think they included that in my one that I got for my baby lock. So, of course, this is not going to want to go back in here, so I'm just going to toss it. Just to get it out the way. All right, now we're going to, oh, and then the last thing I got, I actually was out in the car, and then I went back in there. Because I thought, I didn't have a cover at the time, but I ended up getting it from the lady. Um, I got this yard of Bernina fabric because I thought that I would make a, a machine cover with it. They also had the uh, coordinating plaid that you see in this print, but I didn't buy that. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but um, we'll see since I got the cover now. But we'll see. All right, so that's the Bernina haul. It's 720 already. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of comments in here. I got to go way back. <laughs> Let's see. All right, Carol Green has come in. She says, hi, T and everyone. Uh, Carol says, congratulations, T. Thank you so much. Eileen is here saying, oh, they're telling me about the subscribers. Pamela Tabor told me first. Uh, Elaine Doucette says, 64 chatters. <laughs> um, Quilting for the Soul says, happy anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you so much. B.B. Oliver says, hello, Miss T. I hope all is well. Just heard from another YouTuber that he found beef briskets at Kroger's. For less than half the price. Wish this was in our state, Delaware. Yeah, we don't have Kroger's here either. Hmm. Trying to figure out what is that. Shoot. Everybody's saying happy birth, uh, happy anniversary, but I haven't seen anybody put down what the number of years is. Um, so let's see. Somebody can put that one in. I have been out of the loop, had to finish some knitting and crochet projects. That's from Darlene Farmer. Betty Harris says, happy anniversary and good evening, everyone. Thank you, Betty. Uh, Darlene says, happy anniversary, T. Thank you. Um, let's see. T, happy anniversary. This is from Terry T. I'm sorry. She says, happy anniversary and thank you for all you've done for us. You're so welcome. I enjoyed the journey myself. Uh, Vivian says, Darlene Former, can you email me? Maddie says, Maddie Barnum says, T, did you do a video on free motion? I think I did do a video on free motion. I just don't know which one it is. I can't remember if I did it as, as a video or if I did it as a live chat, but I do remember doing something on video. Um, uh, Diane, I'm going to let her, um, well, Vivian is, uh, trying to give her email to somebody. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this be viewed because I think Vivian, people were trying to order stuff from her. Um, 
it was automatically held for review hidden by Diane and let me see if it'll let me it won't let it show but it's V her, her email address is V Calvi C A L V E Y all one word V Calvi one two three four at yahoo.com okay um, Mary is here saying, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Been feeding my face. <laughs> then it's all right. <laughs> uh, Nita Henderson says, I'm late too. Same reason, Mary. Um, um, Teresa Louise, I quote too, says, hello, T and friends. Um, Joan Elkins is here saying, hi, T and everyone. Don says, Bernina is known for great feet. High-end machines. Yeah, and I know like most of the companies, they have just the um, snap-on foot, and they do give you the entire metal piece. So I, I guess that's why their feet cost more. They're giving you more product, um, and it's not a snap-on foot. So I don't know why Bernina has never gone, uh, don't do the snap-on foot. So I remember they did use snap-on feet at some point, so for some reason they no longer do that. And Diane was saying, please don't put your email in chat. You don't know who could be watching. And um, BV says, sorry, T. Happy anniversary. Be blessed. Thank you so much. No problem. Darlene says, I have an old Bernina. Um, people saying, wow, $97. Yes, for that bobbin thing. That was crazy. Mary says, T, which hammer did, hammer did you get? Whatever number I said. I think it was 61. I can't remember. I put that stuff up. Um, I think it was 61. Not sure. Um, you can email me if, it's, if you're trying to figure it out, but that's the one I got. And old Bernina, one of the first computerized. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, that's a nice thread holder. I have one from Maddie, trying to get through some of these. Hi, team, everyone from Washington, D.C. That's Sharon Lewis. Winfrey Baptiste is here saying good night, everyone. Uh, Dorsey says, when I, do, when I do get my new brother, it comes with one of those spool things so you can use more. Not 15, though, maybe three. And I think I had the three one at first for this one, but it wasn't enough for me. I, I tend to have a lot of thread out. So I want it to go big. And then this one, you can even add two other pieces on to the sides. You can you can even buy additional pieces to snap onto it if 15 isn't enough. But I think 15 would be plenty. Um, Mary says, congrats to you. You deserve it. 78 people as of now in the chat. Thank you, Dee Dee. Um, Patricia Carlos says, I look like that bobbin for bobbin work. Yeah, she says, I like that bobbin for bobbin work. Yes, because you've just put in thicker threads and then it uh, should have a looser tension when it goes through because it knows it's the thicker thread. So that's why I got it. Thank you, Don, for telling me about the 10 years. Appreciate it. That's Don Cunningham. Thank you so much. Pamela Robers, I'm probably hoping I'm not missing somebody. Pam Roberson says, hello, T and everyone. Happy 10 year. Thank you. Cynthia Shade says, I'm a Bernina girl also. Artista 730E. Yes. Ellie says, it's your 10th anniversary, T. Congratulations. A lot of people are telling me the 10th now because nobody had said 10th up to this point. So I was waiting for that. Carl Johnson is here. Darlene Former says, say it again. I had to find a pencil. <laughs> um... And I don't know what she's talking about, say it again, because I've been just talking the whole time, okay? Uh, so ask me, tell me something specific. Um, Remo says, a Viking and a fall fear. Claudette Fettis is here saying hello to and everyone. And Didi says, up to 84 people in chat. And is that a fabric ball on the pile of fabric? It's lovely. Yes, it is a fabric ball. That's for my drawing, so I got that information there. So while I'm here, just in case any of you all are here that had October birthday, last week we drew Adrian Riz. It has been an entire week. I have not seen an email from Adrian. So I'm going to draw again for the October birthdays, okay? And the winner is Cynthia Shade. And I know you should still be here. So Cynthia, go ahead and email me your address even if you have already ordered from me and you think i have it paypal has your information i don't 
So email me your information because if it takes me work to find you, then you're not going to get it. If this is a gift. So what she was supposed to get, and I don't even know where it's at right now, was um, it was a, a yard of fabric. And then I had those two embroidery test out things that I did. I'm sending you that. But you got to email me. And again, you got one week. If you don't, have, don't do it in a week, I'm going to the next person, okay? So I'm going to put on, I'm just going to write on this that you've got the October birthday now. So thanks for mentioning my bowl. <laughs> and I'm going to throw the rest of them in the trash so I don't get them confused. All right. Next thing going to be in the bowl is for the quilt. So let me just go ahead and dump these in here. <clears throat> shake that up a little bit but before we do the draw we're going to go ahead and do the haul stuff for the shop hop that kevin and i did yesterday just making sure i mix everything up in here <laughs> these numbers i do numbers instead of putting people's names in and then i just put people name on a line number because it's easier for me and i can recycle this can you imagine if i had to either cut 206 people have ordered from me so far this year so can you imagine if i had to cut all of those names myself and put them into a thing so what i do is i make i just take raffle tickets and i just write a number on the back like that and then i just use that number to um i'll look up my line whoever is on that line on this sheet then i will tell you who the winner is okay so that's how it's going to work. But I had 206 orders so far this year. Okay? Something else I need to write down. I forgot. Hold on. Now I'm writing on the back of stuff. Okay. All right, so the haul. Uh, the first store you go to, Illinois did it a little different this year where they had people, instead of you going to each store to get the pattern individually from each store because of COVID, and they said that they were gonna allow people to do, if you ordered the kit and stuff online, then they would send you the pattern and so you would still get credit for like attending the shop hop because of COVID. But they ended up putting everything into one booklet. So once you, you had a sign up fee, I think it was $5. And then that $5 gave you all the patterns for the uh, blocks that each shop put into the quilt. I personally, and I don't think Kevin did either. We didn't like it because it was just Kona solids with white. It, I haven't seen any quilt that I like very well. I saw one that I liked the setting of, but I didn't like the way they quilted it. So, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing anything with the patterns on this one, but I am enjoy. I did enjoy the shop hop that we've done so far. I just wanted to mention that. Um, so I'm just going to show you, you all know when I, to a quilt shop i always treat it like a museum do i need anything absolutely not but i just went ahead and bought something from every shop just so i could support that shop for having their doors open especially during 2020 so this is what i bought here is embroider blocks by hoop sisters this is one of their very first embroidery th designs that they came out with and it was first presented as in shop only where they were doing it as a block of the month so each month you got like a different dressed in assignment that you needed to do or how to put this quilt top together and i kind of remember seeing it online and i never could get it when i wanted it because no shops in the st louis area was uh using hoop sisters they were a new company and so it was originally a 40 dollar cd i went to the clearance section where i got it at 50 percent off so I ended up getting it for $20. So I thought that was a good deal. So I bought that. You all know I'm going to go to that clearance section first, right? <laughs> Next store we went to. I couldn't really find anything because I got everything. And this is the store that sells 
has a whole room, whole shop literally of just backing fabrics because she has bought two uh, shops and combined them into one. And uh, it's got, Ma's got a notion. And uh, I bought, she ended up, I was gonna buy some socks and then she showed me this panel and it's a Monopoly panel. The panel was normally $13 but it was on sale for $6. So I bought this panel and I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Know your worth, then add tax. <laughs> so I thought it was cute. It might make a nice kid quote at some point. If not, I'll just piece it up because I just thought the saying was cute on it anyway. Even if I don't make it to make it into a kid's quote. And then in the clearance section, they had the coordinating print. They only had this last print available, but I can always find like a red or a teal tone on tone to go with this. So I bought three yards just because I didn't know what I was gonna how I was gonna set the panel. But this is what I got to go with that. So all at the clearance room, which I was really glad. And I've been into panel lately, although I haven't quilted a one, okay? <laughs> but I'm still into them. Shop number two. Number three, I bought, uh, I just saw this on a boat. And these are so my colors, okay? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out why my screen is not up. So, and then when you open it up, I was just going to get a yard, but then I kept opening it up and you can see more and more. And then I felt like a yard, even when they opened it up halfway, just wasn't enough. And I want to treat this like a panel as well. And I'm not going to be able to do this one because it's way too big, but I do want to just show you how beautiful these flowers are, but they are just so pretty. So it's going to be treated like a panel. It will not be cut. So once I saw this, then I started going into the quilt shops and specifically looking for panels, okay? <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I did run into one quilt shop down the road that they actually marked the boats a different color for panels, which I really enjoyed. But I still didn't find anything that I wanted, but it was just nice that they had the panels uh, marked. Uh, next shop we went to, it's another panel. They were using this for placemats, but I just like the sayings on it, and I'm not sure. This was regular price, probably. Did it have a stick? Um, hmm. I don't know what happened to my receipt on this. Maybe there was one of those. Here it is, maybe. Yeah, it was regular price, $11.99 a yard. So I ended up getting what they had left on the boat, which was just slightly under two yards. So it's regular price. And $11.99 nowadays is not bad. I've seen some people charging $13.99 for fabric. But this one is the Welcome to the High fabric. I don't know if any of you all have seen this. Let's see who it's from. Michael Miller. And I just thought that it was cute. I'll just show you this part first and then we'll just move it up. But keep calm and buzz on. I just love some of the phrases that it had. This one's welcome. And then here's the rest of it. Um, I have a lot of yellow and gray fabrics that I have been stashing, trying to figure out what to do with. So I thought this would be a good choice for that. And then also I can add in blue if I want as well. This panel was $8.99. And I looked online and there was so many different prices for just this panel. So I thought the $9 was a good deal. Again, I've tried to support by something from every shop. Do I need any of this? Absolutely not. Uh, then I went to another shop next to the last for the day. And we purchased this pattern. It's got the price on here. Kevin paid for this one. That's why I don't have the receipt. It's $9. And this is going to be one of our sew along projects eventually and then this one's the last one we went to i had forgotten that moda started making socks but i just thought that i would get this one it says on pins and needles and then what's so cute is the foot part 
has all pins and needles. So you're literally on pins and needles. This pair of socks I thought was very expensive. $14.95. And it's, I don't think it's, normally when I buy socks and I spend, I spend $15 or $20 or more for a pair of socks, they got merino wool or something like that. So I'm interested in knowing how they retain shape, how they wear. But this is my first time buying a pair of Moda socks, but I normally buy expensive socks, but not just, uh, I'm, they're mostly merino wool type expensive socks. So we'll see how that works. So that's it other than the bag that I got from the place where I shop for my Bonina products. I use this as my shopping bag. They gave me that for uh, buying, coming in for the feet sale. So I got this bag, reusable bag. And I think sometimes this is one of those stores that they have bag sales that you can come in and anything you can put in your bag, you might can get a certain percent off during a period of time. Oh, yeah. So we're almost done, guys. See what time it is. 7.39. If somebody, we're going to draw for this quilt here. And I would just like for somebody, if you could go tell me what date I actually put the part one of this quilt on my website for people. I keep getting asked, when did, when did you start all of this? So somebody can give me that would be great before I get into the drawing. Uh, my phone has kicked me out while I've been talking in the chat, of course. So... I may have to reboot my phone, guys. I'm sorry. It's just spooling. All I did was just laid it over there. I haven't even touched it. Got 7.40 on my watch. So we got 20 more minutes. And we're going to draw, do, some, do the drawings, too. I'm praying that this lets me back in. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pull you all up here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Took a while. Okay. Let me... Okay. So I'm trying to go back in the comments here. Cynthia Shade, she said, I can only go back so far, guys. I told you whenever I have a lot of comments, I can only go back so far. So we got Cynthia Shade saying thank you so much when I called her name as the new October winner. Uh, people are great here. Say congratulations, Cynthia. Phyllis G came in, said hi to and all. Uh, Lighten1210 is here. Hi, Betsy. She says hello all. Happy 10th. Thank you so much, Betsy. Vivian says congratulations. Uh, happy anniversary from Phyllis. Thank you so much. Congrats to the winner from Darlene Shaquita. Why did you hide... Mary, I must, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, don't start it, just, just, just deal with it in the chats, guys. Uh, she could have done it by mistake, Diane. I don't want any drama in the chat room. Um, thanks for all the congratulations from Cynthia. And Darcy says the clearance section is the best place to go. You can get a lot more. Yeah, and I try to go to just the clearance section first because I know I don't need anything. And then I try to look at patterns or something like that. And then also each shop did have like something on sale, 15% off. Like some of them had the AccuQuilt dies. Some of them may have had their patterns. Some may have had um, uh, pre-cuts, but I didn't need any in, in, in the shops that I was in. They did not have what I wanted on the 15% off. So, 
Looks like the Monopoly Man. Yes. Love the panel from Peggy O'Connor. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just skip some. Hi, Tian, everyone, from Linda DeVito. She says, welcome from Beverly Hills, Florida. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I had a Christmas panel since 2014. I haven't done anything with it yet. Maybe this year. Yes. <laughs> I probably got stuff way older than that. <laughs> Lisa Pegg is here saying good evening. June says she loves the color. Of, I'm thinking of the panel. Love the bright flowers. So, yes. Hi, Tan, everyone from Olney, Maryland, from Sandra Weston. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. Mary says, gorgeous. Would that make a good kaleidoscope quilt or not? It would make a great kaleidoscope quilt. It's just that I did, they didn't have enough yardage. And I wouldn't have bought it anyway because I would have it been, been like five or six yards I would have needed to buy and I'm just not I didn't want to spend that kind of money on fabric in one particular shop since I was gonna donate to all of them in the end so uh, sergeant Sandra Weston says hi to everyone from Olney Maryland hi Sandra I think we read yours earlier if I'm not mistaken but I could be mistaken Tiffany's quilting life is here she says hi to and friends Jackie Cater says absolutely my colors love those flowers yes uh yes 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 uh cynthia saying she sent email to uh t i need you to send me your mailing address cynthia not your email uh i need your i need you to email me your mailing address that's what i need for you to get your prize camilla says "Ooh, that's gorgeous colors flowers so i'm gonna just skip some of this because we got to get on. We got like 15 minutes left and I got some other stuff I need to do. It's telling me about my guild meeting tomorrow night, which is not going to happen. I just got a notification. Sorry. I'm really sorry. That's not going to happen. <laughs> Mario says, things you don't need but you like are as important as the things you need. Just saying. <laughs> yes. And like I said, too, also supporting the shops was my, that's my most important goal. Just trying to get something everywhere. BB says, 10-year anniversary on YouTube. Love the panel. Be happy. Thank you. Okay, so let me go down here. Vivian saying 10-3 that I put the first part up, but that's not true. I already know. It is uh, Lisa Pegg says the 28th of September. The 26th of September, I'm sorry. And that's not true either because I already know. Rhonda Barlow is here saying hello T and everyone. T, happy anniversary. Thank you so much, Rhonda. And uh, I'm going to skip some comments because I see Jackie K says part one was September 28, 2020. So I was asking questions that I already knew the answers to, guys. <laughs> Jackie K, you just won something. So let me see what she won. Okay. Uh, if you're still in this room, you need to email me if I call your name. Um, email me your mailing address at tquilts, just like this, ampersign at the at, not ampersign, at tquilts, again, dot com. So tquilts at tquilts dot com. If I don't hear from you, guess what? I'm going to give somebody else your gift. So you should still be here. Um... The winner of this scrap box, I got a lot of scraps from a friend. I did some sorting. I put a lot of the, she had a lot of duplicates because she kind of used the same scraps a lot or she would forget she had a scrap already and cut another piece off. So I put a lot of scraps in here. These are not necessarily strings. They could be three inch by five rectangles. They could be strings. They could be uh, half of a fat quarter. It could be any size. So this is a true box of scraps. I have crammed it stuffed it and the winner of the scrap box was for the question how many subscribers do i have i actually have 12,755 subscribers before i came live 1007k is what they would show and the person who answered that first was pamela Tabor. so pamela you are the winner of the scrap box you know what you need to do i'm gonna put your name on here and if i don't hear from you I'm going to not even give people a week today. Um, if you can't email me by Saturday night, I'm going to pull somebody else on my Saturday night live for any of these prizes, okay? So this is Pamela Tabor. I got your name written on here for right now. 
email me your mailing information. Take this pen out of here. Um, the next question I asked was one by Don Cunningham. It was the question of how many years on YouTube was I celebrating? She put down 10 because nobody, I was looking for somebody to say happy 10th anniversary. It didn't happen until I asked the question. So Don, you're going to get this fabric here. It's a nautical print. I gave it away last week. It's the same fabric I gave away to the October birthday. One yard piece of fabric to Don. Email me your information. Last question was what date was the first part of the High Seas Quilt Top published? September 28th is that date. And that was Jackie K. So Jackie, email me your mailing information. All right, time for the big draw. The quilt top, again, is not quilted. It's just a quilt top. It's not quilted yet. I'm about three quarters of the way finished quilting my pineapple quilt. I'm on row number seven, I think. And, uh, what a minute, seven. And I have about maybe three and a half hours of machine time, but it that was like a whole day of me quilting by the time you roll, base the edges, Tell the program what you what it needs to know. So I just uh, was out Monday. I did this on Sunday. Well, I know. did the pineapple quilt on Sunday. And then I was out all day Monday and all day Tuesday. So I didn't get a chance to work on that. So the people have already be, been entered into this drawing for this actual quilt top. I took everybody that placed an order with me, no matter where you live. <laughs> if you were in Canada, I had Canada orders. I had... Australian orders, and I think I had order from Germany. So I am going to put everybody that ordered from me in 2020 doing a, a very complicated and complex year filled with a pandemic, uh, social unjust uh, issues, and also financial issues for a lot of people. And you all still supporting my channel. So I appreciate that. I have never given away or made a quilt to give away as a drawing. Um, you know, that would be, I would be charging a lot of money for that. But I decided that because you all have been so sweet and kind to me that I needed to do something sweet and kind for one of you. I can only, I know it's a lot of you all out there, but I can only do what I can do as an individual. And so I am so, so happy for your support and just wanna show my appreciation some kind of way, okay? So, let's see. Oh my goodness, Darcy Savalli has given me $19.99 as a super chat. Thank you. She says, you are amazing. Thank you, Darcy. I really appreciate that. That is so nice. And Pamela is telling me to pull another name because she is unable to sew. Let me see if I can um, do that. She's put it twice. Okay. So, hold on, I'm just, I'm going up and down. I may make put somebody in time out. <laughs> and where my thumb is, is on, it was on Jackie K. She's already won. Let me do it again. <laughs> I'm up and down the chats. It is Phyllis G. So, Phyllis G, you can get Pamela's gift if you send me your information uh pamela was the one that won the scrap box so phyllis g if you send me your email information to tquilts at tquilts.com you'll get pamela's scrap box so let me put phyllis g on here now okay and thanks, Pamela, for being so generous. She says she's not able to sew right now. So I'm sure Phyllis G really appreciates it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so I got all, I got, I had 206 people. So I have just tickets that I have wrote the numbers up to 206. Again, I have the name on this piece of paper. This is going to be the winner of the actual, um, quilt when I get it done and hopefully you'll get it by the end of the month if not you'll get it early November it's coming 
<laughs> no, it's coming. I pulled one. The number is 128. Then I got to go to this paper because I just used Excel and put all my names on a line. 128. And I don't know if this person is here because I don't remember reading this name. Um, number 128. I'm trying not to show everybody's names, and but you might see a couple. But it is Susan Martin. Number 128 is Susan Martin. Now, I'm going to give Susan until Saturday. <laughs> What's today? 17? So, 8, 14. So, it'll be the 17th. If, you, if I don't hear from Susan Martin by Saturday, I'm going to draw another name for the quilt. I'm not going to hold on to things. I'm going to go ahead and put a little asterisk by number 128 before I lose it. That's the actual quilt winner, Susan Martin. So hopefully she'll see this live and she'll contact me. If not, it'll be somebody else's blessing because I'm going to draw again on Wednesday, uh, Saturday night, okay? 128. <laughs> Lisa Love said pick 125. <laughs> that was, uh, I'm not going to tell you who was on 125, but... We got 128, and Diane says I haven't seen her either. So we'll give her until Saturday to see this video, um, and then we're going to move on to the next person. It'll just be beneficial for the next person. So I always put, keep my numbers, so I'm going to just put my numbers back in the um, bowl because I put them back in my box. But I just really appreciate uh, everything in 2020, and I was like knowing that everything was going to be canceled for me. I just figured I was going to spend my 2020 just quilting my own quilts. And I did get a lot of my own projects done, or I started a lot of different projects, but it was even more so that you all kept me busy because, like, as I said in some previous chats, that I had been a little bit stressed during the pandemic when I was seeing all the stuff on the news. And so I just stopped looking at the news for the most part because I couldn't handle that. And I just got busy working. And you all kept me busy making t-shirts, um, selling. A lot of people started buying lights again. A few people bought the press sticks again. Um, and then also those wood-turned items. So anybody that had ordered from me, no matter how you paid, I went back and followed all my transactions so that I could make sure that I put everybody into this drawing. So... You were included. You didn't have to email me and ask to be included. If you ordered from me in 2020, even if it was January 1, you were included in this drawing. And we hope Susan will come back, but if not, it'll be another chance for another winner. So I'm going to just leave this container here until Susan contacts me. Okay? So thank you guys for just being so supportive of my channel. Judy Judy, I'm just going to start at a comment, says congratulations to all the winners, and I know a lot of you, because I have great supporters here, you all support even the winners when you're not the winner yourself, so, but I'm just going to read some of them, I'm not going to be able to read them all, Mario says happy for all the winners, Mary says I have had a terrible day, so I'll see you all another time, take care, be safe, and be well, bye Mary, see ya, um, congrats to all the winners from Darlene, Cynthia says, congrats to all the winners. Putting for the souls, saying good night to Mary. Jackie K says, feel better. Uh, good night, Kevin. So I guess Kevin says, winning winner, chicken dinner. Congrats to all the winners. <laughs> yes. Uh, Pamela's at uh, Mary, hope you feel better. Uh, Phyllis G says, thank you, T. Sent you an anniversary gift. Oh, well, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> I went to the um, post office today just to make sure that uh, nothing was there. I was not expecting anything. That's not what this was about, but I just went to make sure that nothing had come in. But I'll let you know, Phyllis, when it comes. Um, Nisi Ma says, congratulations to all the members. And Jackie says, hit the thumbs up all. Thank you so much, Jackie. Just going to go back a little bit more because I... Uh, don't have any more comments at the bottom. Jackie K says, thank you, T. What a lovely surprise gift. Email sent. All right, Jackie. Uh, Lisa Love says, wow, I guess the number that was close, yes, number 128 instead of 125. 
and then I just lost my connection again. Um, Tiffany saying congrats to Susan. Uh, congrats to all the winners from Cheryl Bing. Full as G says, T, I will pass on the scraps too. Oh my gosh. Got another pass. But my chat's acting up. Uh, my chat's currently acting up. So I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the scrap box. And uh, let me see. It's come back again. Hold on. But I can only go so far now. And it keeps conking out. See this? I don't know if you all can even see this on the screen, but it keeps um, telling me, please check your network connection, but I'm still recording and not having any issues, so I, I can't have a network connection error. So it's something with this phone, and I have done all of my updates, and I'll check and make sure that they haven't come up with another update on this phone just to make sure. But I'm, I've been having issues with my um, rolling chat, so... Um, I tell you what, how about if I just pull another number, just take whatever number is on this bottom off of a line and that person will get the scraps. Number 30 is this number. Number 30 on this sheet is, let's see, it's Claudette Bettis. So Claudette, if you're still here. Uh, let me know. You'll get the scrap box if you want it. I'm trying to get to line 30 because Claudette's on line 29 and 30. <laughs> I just want you all to see that I do things fair down there, okay? So Claudette Bettis, if you're still here, let me know if you want the box. Because I did see her in chat earlier. <laughs> Let's see. My chat's not working because it's only letting me see what I put in before. I'm going to have to pull you guys up because I don't have time to reboot. I see chats rolling up, but they're not coming to me. So hold on. <laughs> She said, yes, I do. Okay, so Claudette, just email me your mailing address so I don't have to look it up in an email, and then I will send you the box of scraps. How about that? So we got all the winners taken care of for right now. I know two of them said that they've mailed there, so how many gifts did I have here? Five tonight. So at least two of them I know said they put theirs in. So I just want to put my numbers back. <laughs> I wish I could I'm trying to get you guys so we're not so close. <laughs> but close enough for me to read. <laughs> okay, let me go back because uh, it stopped giving me new chats. I was only going back through the Elaine says, had a fun draw. Thank you, T. You're so welcome, Elaine. Thank you so much. Uh, Janet says, congratulations to the winners. Enjoy chat. Thank you. Uh, Linda says, happy 10th anniversary. Many more years to you. Thank you, Linda. Um, T. I missed my, you missed my message above. I thank you for pass on the scrub box. Okay. Oh, she says I sent you an anniversary gift by Cash App. Okay, because I don't—I have all my notifications turned off on my phone, so that's why I did not see it. Let me go on to Cash App. Well, thank you. She sent me ten dollars cash through Cash App. Thank you so much, Phyllis. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, let's see. I've lost her comment to know where to start back. But Rhonda Barlo says, congrats to the winners. Happy quilting. Phyllis, uh, that was very nice of you from Diane. Darcy saying congrats. Pamela saying congrats. Darlene saying good night. And uh, Tiffany saying wonderful, Claudette. <laughs> quilting for the soul says congratulations, Claudette. 
Remo's saying good night to everybody. And we're all going to be saying good night in a few minutes. But I just wanted to read some of the uh, chat comments. You all are so sweet. T, I wish you a nice iPad or any tablet for Christmas. It's easier than a phone. I actually record on my iPad. But then when I put it back there, the comment uh, boxes are so little that I can't read them. So that's why I use my phone to go and read the chat comments because it's closer to me. But um, I, I do record on an iPad, so I do have one. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I do love my iPad, though. Um, I'm going to go from the bottom. Way to celebrate 10 years. So fun with giveaways. Congrats to the winners. Uh, good night, Lacanti. I see other people are saying good night. Good night, Cheryl. Can you show your wood turn tools, please? That's Lisa Love. Um, I was using them. Oh, I took them out of here, uh, Lisa, because I had packed up on Monday to go over a friend's house to sew. And so I don't even have it in here. Hmm. I feel kind of strange not even having it in here, but I don't. Sorry. Um, but I got, um, you can go to my website www.tquilts.com and I have uh, one up there that's called Blue Angel that's no longer in stock but that at least will show you what it looks like and I think I even have Key Lime up there as well Key Lime will be in stock once I get my order um, but yes Mario says love this channel I'll see you on Saturday thank you Mario bye bye all the way from Canada <laughs> hello all from Yarn It Out um people are saying good night so we're gonna end up ending here and uh because i'm sure it's it's 805 now but uh thank you all so much again we come back on saturday night 9 p.m central standard time it's later for the people on the west coast uh, i know that it's later for people on the east coast but if you come that's great you can watch it saturday as you sew or something if you can't make it but um, see you all then. It's actually a sewing chat, so I'll be doing some sewing. Not sure what I'm sewing on yet. <laughs> I should be trying to figure out Cleopatra's fan, but maybe I'll just pull it out and start reading what they want us to do on Cleopatra's fan. Maybe that's what I'll do. But um, thank you all so much. See you all on Saturday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Stay blessed and stay safe, everybody. Good night. <laughs>